Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to Cyprus's Technologies. In today's video, we're going to discuss about what's new in document module. So the first and foremost thing that we're going to discuss is about the AI feature in the document module. To set up with the AI features, you just need to move on to the apps and ensure that you have enabled the AI module. So you just need to ensure that uh, uh, the module has been activated. So you can simply search for the AI module over here. And you can see we have already enabled it. And once everything is done, you can just move on to the AI module. And from here, under the configuration settings, we just need to set up the API key of your own ChatGPT account. So once everything is done, you can just navigate into the document module. And here comes the changes of Odoo 19 in document. So currently, you can see all the folders right now available. Now let me consider one of the folder over here. So here you can see that uh, under the company, we have many more folders. So let me consider any of the folder over here. So as I just choose a folder over here, you can see that um, we can find all the documents that is associated with this folder. And here we have the settings. So under the settings, we can just do the auto sorting. So upon choosing that here, you can see that the prompt is uh, created uh, over here. So if I just upload a picture, I just need to move the picture into the product page. So I'll be setting a prompt like this. So you can also provide um, like whenever you just upload a product or any other things, if you want to just move into uh, any other folder particularly, even if you are not considering any particular folder while uploading, you can just use this prompt. So once it's done, you can set the action that can take under the AI. So here you can see that we can just add the tags, uh, move to folder, create customer invoice as well as create Wendable. So once everything is done, you can save the changes that you have made. Now I'm going to upload an, an image. So here you can click on new button and click on upload. So here you can see that I have the wooden stool. So upon uh, adding the wooden stool, you can see that the image will be moving on to the product page. So here we have to wait for a while because everything is loading. And here you can see that it's been moved to the product page and we have then an action called auto sort document in the product page. So even if you upload the document into a particular folder, as we just provided uh, the action auto sort with a particular prompt, and to place the image under the product page, you can see that the product will be moving onto the project, I mean product page under the admin. So here you can see that we have the I button. This shows the info and tags. So whatever happens over here, that will be tracked under the chatter, which you can find in the, uh, I mean, the Odoo 19 document module. Now, if you want to rename this product, you can also just do that. So once everything is done, you you can see that uh, uh, it's been tracked under the chatter. Now here you can find uh, the folder under which this comes. Uh, and uh, here you can see that it belongs to all company. If you want to set for a particular company, you can set that. And if you want to set any contacts over here, you can also just do with it. So uh, here I'm going to set a contact called Mark Demo of your company and I would like to save it. So once everything is changing over here, you can find whatever we are uh, track, uh, ch making changes can be um, tracked under the uh, chatter. So this is one of the new changes that you can find in the Odoo 19. Now you can also just get the improved uh, sharing rights under the management. So let me consider the wooden stool. So as I just consider the wooden stool here, you can see that I have the option of share over here. So here you can see that the people with access is Michelle admin. So he is the owner. Now, if we want to add the internal users, we can just add that. So uh, here I'm going to add different users. Let me add the user one is Abigail uh, Carter. And here I would like to set uh, the viewer uh, role for Abigail Carter. And uh, later on, I'll be adding Mark demo over here so once everything is done you can share this so upon sharing this you can see that you have added external user but external sharing is disabled now if you want to uh, enable the uh, access for this you can also just do that by going on to the enable access and save that property okay so in this case you can see that abigail carter is an external user but in case of mark demo it's an internal user so in case of internal user we can set him as the 
editor and let's say Abigail Carter is an external user. So if you want to set internal users with viewers access or ed editor access or if you don't need to set any access for them, you can just use the option none. And here we can also find the other general access through the links. They can only view, cannot rename, uh, move or delete this. So once everything is done, you can, uh, I mean, you can just set the access over here. So that's the other change you can find under the Odoo 19 document module. So once everything is done, you can simply choose done over here. And um, here you can see that I'm going to uh, move on to the uh, list view of the yeah the, the product which been uploaded over here so you can find that the file i mean uh, there is a greater improvement with the ui like you can just manage the sharing from here and uh, if you want to uh, just download the file uh, i mean download the document you can just simply do that and if you want to change the name of the uploaded file you can see we have the option to change the name and uh, I would like to change the name over here. Okay, so I'm going to change it as wooden stool. Uh, as it contains two words, I'm going to use an underscore and let me rename it. So once it's done, you can just uh, get it under the um, info, I mean uh, in the um, chatter. So here you can see that as we have just renamed it, you can find the rename over here. Okay, so these are the changes that you can find. And the other change uh, now you can find is that now let me close the chatter. So once the chatter has been changed over here, you can select uh, the uh, file from here. And here we have uh, the action. And if you want to move this uh, file into any other folder, you can just move that. So here I'm going to move. So upon moving on, uh, you can choose the one to which you want to move. So let's move to uh, the products. So here you can see that the document moved to the products. And here you can see currently we don't have the product under the product page. And as you up move on to the products here, you would be able to see that. Now, if you want to uh, lock this, you can also lock the item that is the document. And uh, uh, you can also unlock it. And once it's been locked, yeah. Let's see what's the change that we are getting over here. So once you lock it, you can see that uh, when we, let's see whether we can move this product. Uh, when we just lock the product. Okay. So let's move on to admin. And here, uh, I just want to move to admin. So still we can just move the item uh, to the admin. Okay. And uh, now let me consider the product over here. I mean, that's uh, the wooden stool. That is the document. And if you want to uh, just copy the link, you can just copy that. And uh, these are the options that you can find in the Odoo 19. And here, if you want to make any signatures and all, you can just go with the uh, signature. And now the other change that you can easily find in the uh, document module of Odoo 19 is that let's move on to the sales module so in the sales module I would like to consider a quotation so in the quotation here you can see that we have the log note right so in the log note here we have the option uh, to add the document so let's add from the document and let me add the item which is the wooden stool so here I'm going to select it and let's add from the document so if you want to add multiple items, it can be added over here. And uh, now let me create an invoice or let's, yeah, let's get, uh, create the invoice. So I'm going to create a regular invoice. So once the invoice is created and if you want to just set it under uh, the, um, the, I mean, in the document, you can uh, also do that. So here we have just done. Now let me uh, send it so i'm going to send and you can see that upon sending uh this you can see it under the shadow and if you want to add this uh into the document you can easily add uh the the um i mean the invoice into the uh um, i mean into the documents so let's move on to the finance under the finance we have the sales 
So here I'm going to add it in the sales. So let's add it. So here you can see that now the document is created in sales. So upon moving on to the document module, you can see that it's been directly added under the finance sales. So here we can just um, easily organize the file. So you can find that we have currently organized the file. And let's open it. So if you want to just get the information regarding this here, you can see the document has been created. And let's close that and let's move on to the, uh, the uh, Kanban view and let me open it. So here you can see you can just undergo with different uh, operations like the action. So if you just want to uh, split the uh, PDF, you can just do that. So if you want to make any uh, like uh, split the documents uh, by adding the file or uh, just managing with the other operation, you can just do that. So let's let me click on split. So here you can see that uh, as I just uh, click on split, one new document is created over here and uh, it's easily create a bridge in the accounting. So here, uh, yeah. And uh, if you want to make it as favorite, you can just add it, it into the favorite. So these are the changes that you can find under Odoo 19 document module. So that's all for today. If you find this video informative, please do like, share and subscribe our channel. If you want Odoo customization, Odoo implementation and Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact type browsers. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.